four, determine whether the function has a maximum or a minimum. Find the maximum or minimum and state the domain and range. We call standard form. And that I need to look at the coefficient of x. I need to look at a, and here a equals 3. And since that is greater than 0, since a is positive, this tells me that this parabola opens upward. And since it opens upward, just to help visualize it, the vertex right here is going to be a minimum. It is going to be the smallest value that y can achieve for any x. They want me to find that minimum value. So I'm going to recall that the x coordinate of the minimum value is defined by negative b over 2a. I know what a is. b is negative 12. So just figuring that out, that's negative times negative 12 over 2 times a, which is 3. That's going to give me a negative and a negative is a positive 12 divided by 2 times 3, which is 6. So this is going to give me 12 divided by 6. That's 2. Okay, so the minimum, co the coordinate for the minimum, the x coordinate is 2. To figure out the y coordinate, I'm going to figure out f of 2. which is going to be 3 times 2 squared minus 12 times 2 plus 7. So this is going to give me 3 times 4 minus 12 times 2 is 24 plus 7. So this is 12 minus 24 plus 7. So that's going to give me negative 12 plus 7, which is negative 5. Okay. Therefore, the the minimum value is going to be y equals negative 5. So this is my minimum. So now looking at this, in reality, actually, so this is going to be at x is 2, y is negative 5. It's actually going to be more like this. We weren't asked to graph it, but just to help visualize it, negative 5, let's say, is down here. This is actually going to, to be down here in this quadrant. Okay? Now, I found that I have a minimum. I found that the minimum occurs at y equals negative 5. What is the domain? Looking, I can make x anything I want, any real number. So the domain is going to be all real numbers. What is the range? Well, there's a limit on what that can be because I just said that the minimum value for x is negative 5. For y, the minimum value for y is negative 5 right here. That is the minimum value. Therefore, y can be greater, but it can never be less than that. So actually the range is all real numbers where y is greater than or equal to 5. The domain is all real numbers. The range is more restricted. It's all real numbers greater than or equal to negative 5. Okay, so we found that we had a minimum, and we know that because a is positive. We found that using the formula negative b over 2a to get the x-coordinate, which is 2. Then we found f of x using 2, so f of 2 to tell me that y equals negative 5. Since y is negative 5, then there is a limit here on the range. The domain is all real numbers, whereas the range is only those real numbers greater than or equal to negative 5. That concludes this session of educator.com, where we covered graphing quadratic functions. I'll see you next lesson.